Hi friends, I'm Caitlin Workman and welcome to my YouTube channel where I empower and encourage other entrepreneurs. I'm so excited that you guys are here today. We're talking specifically to photographers today, how to start a photography business, um, because I get this question probably more than anything. Um, as someone who was an elementary school teacher that started a photography business, ended up going full-time a year later, a lot of people wonder, how do you do that? How do you start a photography business? So I wanted to answer that today with 10 steps. First, start small with gear. Um, I think that a lot of people can get themselves in trouble because they feel like they have to spend so much money on gear in the very beginning, and I would start very small. I would not go crazy into debt just feeling like you're going to be a great photographer if you spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So I would start small with gear um, and then as you make money then you can reinvest it back in your business with things that are going to make you more money. So I always recommend, I started with the Canon Rebel and it's very affordable. Um, so I would start with something like that, just a crop sensor, just to get you used to using your camera before you invest a lot of money because you might... Um, think that you're going to love photography and then you spend $10,000 on gear and then realize that you don't actually like photography. So I would start small with gear with something like a Canon Rebel. Um, and then to invest in education, there are a ton of great resources for education. There are a lot of great YouTube channels that cover all kinds of different things. You can learn how to shoot manual mode through YouTube or um, through people's courses and things like that. So I would start start small with gear and then I would invest in your education because you need to learn how to use your camera, right? So find someone who's going to teach you how to do that, find the resources that you need because how you use your camera and how you interact with people, those things are just as important, if not more important than what particular camera you use. So I definitely recommend investing in education next and then practice, practice, practice. That's step number three. Um, might sound obvious, but you can spend all the money that you all the money in the world that you want on gear, and all the money in the world on education. But um, you can't just pick up your camera one time and feel comfortable using it. So make sure that you just practice like all the time. Practice on your kids if you have kids. Practice shooting things around your house. Just practice taking pictures of literally everything in every scenario so that you can get comfortable changing your settings and you'll just get better and better the more that you practice. Number four, cover your legal bases. Make sure that you don't skip this step. Um, yes, it's great to make a Facebook page with your brand new logo and your brand new business page, but you wanna make sure that you have your legal bases covered with things like a business license, contract, and insurance. Do not skip these things um, even though they're not quite as fun as taking pictures and um, even if people are only paying you five dollars for a session which they should be paying more than that but um, even if they're only paying you fifty dollars for a session to start whatever the cost is you need to have a contract to cover your basis um, to protect you and to protect your clients a great way to start keeping track of that money coming in even if it's only five dollars or fifty dollars or a hundred dollars is honeybook honeybook.com I'll put a link right here and you can Use that link to get 20% off of your first year. And I started using HoneyBook when I very first started my business. I love it for so many reasons. But as you are starting to take payments and as you are starting to have those contracts, um, HoneyBook makes it super easy. I just send out my contract and invoice at the same time. They can sign it and they can pay their deposit and all of that stuff all at one time. So I definitely recommend starting with that um, and make sure that you use my link and we both get money back for our businesses. Step number five, start for free. You don't have to advertise to people. You don't have to post on Facebook and say, I'll take literally anyone's pictures for free, but just find a couple people that you um, love, take pictures of your friends, so that you can start building your portfolio. If you're interested in doing more senior pictures, then reach out to a couple of senior pictures, a couple of seniors, and offer to give them five or ten pictures and give them a great experience. That is building your portfolio, and um, hopefully they'll refer you to their friends if you do a really good job. So make sure that you know how to use your camera and have practiced before you start offering to do these model shoots. But start for free. And step number six, share, share, share. Um, you wanna share them everywhere. So wherever you decide to do that, you can share them on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and blogging. I have a whole nother video telling you how you can share on your blog. So share, share these everywhere that you can um, and just start telling people, I'm a photographer. Um, I think that's one of the hardest steps, but anytime you see people, 
just start making those connections and just start sharing your work anytime that you can. And if you guys need help knowing how to share about yourself and how to share about your work on social media, you can go to caitlinworkmanphotography.com slash book more clients and download my free guide that talks you all through. It talks you through how we share on social media, how I share about myself, my personal story to connect with clients and to book more clients. So make sure that you get that. Number seven, don't forget taxes. So as you start making money, make sure that you're saving a percentage of that aside for when you have to pay your taxes because you don't want to get hit with this giant fee at the end of the year that you were not planning on because you might start making money faster than you plan to and you just need to make sure that you're planning on that. Number eight, charge enough for profitability. So it's fine to do sessions in the beginning for free as you're building your portfolio, but don't be scared to actually be charging enough to make a profit. Um, as you start, it can be kind of hard to believe in yourself enough to start charging people, but just remember that you are a business and you need to make money if you want to continue this business. So make sure that you are charging for profitability. If you have questions about that, please just drop them in the comments and I can do a whole nother video on pricing. Number nine, overconfidence. I think this is what I did really well in the beginning that um, a lot of people struggle with, and that is just that I believed I could do it. <laughs> and I started sharing my work, and I thought, I'm amazing. Like, I just really believed in myself, and I said, I'm a wedding photographer before I'd even shot a wedding. And so just show up confidently. Show up on social media. Show up in person. Show up in real life with confidence. Make sure when you go to your session that you have confidence at your session. Um, a great way to have confidence in your session is to make sure that you've practiced like I mentioned and to make sure that you're comfortable with posing so that you can make your couples feel confident. I have a whole free guide on posing that you guys can download. Um, it's caitlinworkmanphotography.com slash posing freebie. Um, so you guys can download that to get started. It has some advice for posing and it has a couple different poses that you can start with for couples if you're going to be photographing couples. So make sure that you get that and make sure that you feel comfortable posing whoever your client is, because if you're confident, then they're going to feel confident as well. And number 10, just remember why you started this business in the first place. Was it because you loved serving people? Was it because you want to provide... It, it, you want to provide an income for your family? Was it just think about why why you started, right? I started my business because I love connecting with people and I love making people feel confident and comfortable in front of the camera. I love making it just a great experience for them. And so anytime I get frustrated with the hard things about photography and running a business, I just have to kind of reflect and remember why I'm doing this. And it's such a blessing to get to be able to literally document people's best days for them and um, just document people's memories. So just make sure that you are remembering why you did this. And I am just so excited for you as you're starting this journey. When I first got my camera as a birthday gift, I never thought that being a photographer would be my full-time job. And it's just a crazy, crazy journey. So please, if you have any questions along the way, just leave them in the comments. And make sure that you go to my website, caitlinworkmanphotography.com slash bookmoreclients, and that will give you plenty of tips for how to share online, how to show up personally, um, and start booking clients in your business. So please let me know if this was helpful, and if you have any questions, just leave them below. Thanks, guys.